Choose one? Oh, what does heart mean? Should I choose it? But I also really need money because I'm poor. Um, I think I'll choose the heart because it probably has a good meaning. All right, what does that mean? Wishing you to be surrounded by light and good fortune. Huh? I'm so confused. That sounds kind of useless. And now I'm kicking myself for not choosing money. In the group chat. Hello, guys. Why hasn't anyone kicked him out of the group yet? Lol, I forgot. Ugh, why? I did not do anything. Yeah, you didn't do anything, but you're still at fault. Because you're poor, and we're rich now. Haha. Uh -huh. Guys, let's give Leo a chance. Who knows, maybe by now he's become wealthy, because he might have chosen a lot of money earlier. What if he's already rich? Are you kidding? How could Leo possibly get rich? He can't be richer than me. How much money did you get, Leo? Actually, I didn't choose money. I choosed the heart. Oh, man. Oh, Mao. Leo, you're such a fool. Ah, seriously. Who in their right mind would choose money over the heart? Leo, you're clueless. So what does that heart mean? Um, I don't know. Poor you, El Mao. Kick him. That's not fair. Leo has kicked out the group. Oh, I have no friends now. A few days later. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me. Can you give me a few cents? Don't block my way, you beggar. I hate the poor the most. Yeah, what a stroke of bad luck. They were pretty heartless toward her. Hey, that's not cool. Well, 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 who is this? Leo, you're just a poor guy. Stay out of our business. Young man, can I have a few cents? This is my lunch money, but... Okay, here you go. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. <laughs> what a joke. Tommy, let's go grab some good food. Okay, go. This afternoon, I have to starve again. Whatever. Excuse me, wait. Huh, what's it? Thank you for helping me. I will tell you what. I know about your future. What? Actually, it's possible. I am a fortune teller. Oh, whoa. You can become insanely rich in the future. Is that so? Yes, that's it. Thanks. I really have to go. Goodbye, young man. Hmm, that was strange. How can I be rich? Maybe she just wanted to comfort me. Later. Excuse me, young lady. You dropped those things. Oh, what's wrong? Your money? Oh, just a few cents. Thank you for telling me, but I'm not taking them back. You can have it. What? Are you sure? It's $200. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you. I appreciate it. She's so kind and rich, so I have money for lunch. Hey, young man. Hello. How can I help you? Do you want to buy these lottery tickets? Just $1 and 2 cents. If you can, please help me. I'm so hungry. One dollar and two cents, huh? Oh, I have enough of that amount of money. Oh, that's right. Okay, here's the money. God bless you, young man. The next day, and his workplace. A new day begins again. I will work hard. Maybe I can be rich soon. Hi, boss! Huh? That's Glenn. Leo, this is Glenn, the employee of this store. If you need anything, tell him. He'll help you. Yes, sir. I got it. Hello, Glenn. Hi. Good. I hope you two will get along well at work. I'm out of here. Yes. Thank you, boss. What would I do now? Clean up the store, will you? And serve our guests whatever they want. Can you help me? Are you a fool? Learn it yourself. I'm busy. Ah. Uh. Don't hurry up and get to work. And don't even think about telling boss about this. I won't leave you in peace if I lose my job. Okay, fine. Glenn, come to my office right now. Okay, sir. Glenn, you've been working so bad lately. You better improve the quality of your work. Otherwise, Leo will replace you. You have three more days. What? Hmm. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Keep your word and instead act now. Get out of my office. I can't let Leo replace me. I'll come up with a plan to make the boss hate Leo. Uh, I have to go to the toilet. You so rotten. Whatever. Glenn searches for his money. Later. Where is my money? 
I'm sure I put it here. Boss, can I talk with you for a while? What? You should see this. What is it? That's all I gathered from the CCTV. You already knew the truth. There's a criminal in your store. You should fire him, boss. Oh, here you are, Glenn. I need your help. I found someone's money in my back. Give it here. Hey, what are you doing? Stop acting, you liar. What do you mean? Leo, you disappointed me. Take all of belongings and get out of here. You're fired. Huh? Why? I don't understand. Show him the video. What do you say about this? No, there must be some kind of mistake. Boss, trust me. I didn't steal your money. Leo, go away right now. Otherwise, I will call the police. You heard that. Leave here. Even when I didn't do that, boss, I'm sorry. At home. Hi, mom. I'm home. Welcome home, son. What happened? You look sad. My boss fired me. What? Why? I have no idea about that. Someone slandered me of stealing money. But I had no evidence to prove that I wasn't guilty. Oh, dear. But trust me, I didn't steal anything. It's all right. I trust you. The guilty one will pay the price one day. Thanks, Mom. Leo, would you like to come with me to the hospital to visit Dad? Of course, Mom. At hospital. How is he? There are both good and bad news. Tell us, Doctor. There is a malignant tumor in his brain. However, it is only in the early stages. The likelihood of recovery is 80%. The price for the surgery is $200. $200? The amount is too expensive for our family to afford right now. What should we do, Mom? I don't know. Things in Leo's family became extremely difficult. But then, one evening... Mom, what should we do now? I am unemployed. I'm trying to get a loan to pay for the surgery. How much money have you borrowed? Not much. Son, just $150. 150.00 is a large amount of money. I'm so hopeless. Don't lose hope, Mom. Let me check. Welcome to the Daily Lottery Channel. Let's find out who our lucky guests today are. Why are you watching that? Did you buy some lottery tickets, Mom? Please don't say anything now. I also receives a lottery ticket from a stranger. Who knows it might be our last chance. That's great. Let's do it. The smallest prize, $50. Oh no, not this one. The second prize, $100. What? Oh, screw it. Why not? Neither is this one. There's only one chance left, and the special prize of $500 is still looking for the owner. I will speak that number slowly. I think you should turn it off, son. We can't be that lucky person. What are you saying? Don't lose hope. I'm going to cook dinner. The special prize of $500 is still looking for the owner. The winning number is 13356-7904-9675. Oh, my ghost. Contact the phone number on the screen for advice on receiving the prize. I'm Sarah Stone, and I'm out of here. Good evening, everyone. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What just happened? Mom, I won the first prize. That fortune teller was right. Our family will be rich. <gasps> what? How wonderful! Let's call to the lottery center now. Okay, here. <phone rings> Hello, I am the owner of that prize. The ticket is with me now. How can I get the money? Okay, okay. We have enough money to save Dad now. I'm so happy, son. Let's go to the hospital right away and make sure he gets the best care possible. Sure. The next day. Doctor, we have the money now. Are you sure that he'll be fine after the surgery? Yes, I'm sure. His illness is only in the early stages now. Okay. Thank you for help us. Dad, you'll be fine. I'll tell you good news when you overcome the sickness. Okay, son. I'll overcome it to hear your good news. Okay, I'm taking him away. His dad was healthy again after two weeks. Dad, tell me, how do you feel? I feel great, son. Like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. We're so relieved to see you well again. Yeah, it's like a miracle. Speaking of miracles, Leo, I heard you won the lottery. Is that true? Yes, Dad. It's true. We're now millionaires. It's all thanks to Leo's luck and hard work. Leo, 
You have truly become capable, young man. Thanks, Dad. But you know, it wasn't just luck. It was also the lessons we learned along the way. That's right. We learned to appreciate the little things. Just like the fortune teller said. Well, whatever it was, I'm grateful for it. Now, let's focus on enjoying our time together as a family. Definitely, Dad. We have a lot to be thankful for. Let's make the most of every moment. Absolutely. And Leo, I'm proud of you, son. I love you both. We love you too, Leo. That's right. I forgot one thing. What's that? I want to find out who the culprit is who got me fired from my job. Yeah. My son never be a thief. His father was discharged from the hospital, and their family moved to a more comfortable house that Leo had recently purchased. In the next day. What the? You better shut the hell up. Who are you? Don't try to scream, okay? Okay, okay. What do you want? Just don't send me to the afterlife, please. Do you want some money? Shut up. I have some business with you. Tell me the truth. What truth? Are you blaming another person at your workplace for stealing money? What? Did he hire you to do this? That's not your problem. Answer the question or I will. No, no, I will tell you he wasn't. Then, who was it? It's me. It's me. I turned off all the CCTV so I could slam to him without being exposed. Why did you do that? Because I was jealous of Leo. I was afraid of losing my job. Please don't hurt me. I tell you all. Jesus, you're a man, and now you're crying like a coward. How pathetic. Okay, well done. Stop threatening him. Okay, my job here is done. And I already had my money. I'm leaving now. Okay, thanks you could go. So it's you, Leo. Yeah, I don't believe you do this to me. I am sorry. I don't want to do it cause. Don't say anything more, Leo. I'm so sorry. Come back to my company. I will give you a high position in my place and you. Glenn, you are fired. Okay, I won't toss away that chance. No, no, please. I need this job. I'm running out of money. I'll never let an employee with low dignity like you in my place. So, don't try to beg me for mercy. It won't work. It serves you right. What is this feeling? Let's flip this coin. If it's heads, my future will be better. If it's tails, my future remains the same. Oh, heads? All right. Let's see what would come. Did you hear about Tommy getting fired? Yeah, I can't believe it. What a scumbag. Stealing money and framing others? He's beyond low. It's disgusting. I never want to be friends with someone like him. Let's just steer clear of him from now on. Oh, Leo, long time no see. You, are you still poor? Uh, no, I'm rich now. It's ridiculous. No way. Leo is a millionaire now. He hit the jackpot in the lottery. What? Yeah. How did you get so lucky? It's all because of the heart I picked earlier. No way. Are you serious? Hmm, that's not fair. Maybe I'll use him to get his money. Hey, Leo, long time no see. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe we should spend some time together. No. I don't want to spend my time for you. Um, how cute. What's wrong with you? Shut up. Lol. You're such a hypocrite, Kayla. And don't think I've forgotten how you and Tommy used to bully me all the time. Ugh, whatever. Wait, Derek. You shouldn't be friends with someone like Kayla anymore. You don't need toxic people like her in your life. Oh, I know. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, here you are. I've been looking for you. Do I know you? Your fortune telling was correct. Those little things made me rich. What are you talking about? Remember when? Oh, do you forget me? No, I don't know you. Oh, okay. Let's get acquainted again. My name is Leo, and I'm here to help you. Stop wandering around the street and begging for money. We are looking for a housemate. So, come to my house and as a maid. Is that okay with you? Really? Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I can do that. I won't let you down. I trust you. Since then, Leo's family life has been forever happy. At school. Ha ha ha, look who's here. El Mao. She is eating fast food. 
Again. Ha ha ha. Henry? Yes, sorry. Yes, she is a poor girl. Right, lol. Stop being mean to me. I did nothing to y'all. Laughing at her. What now? Um, nothing. El Mel. The girl was too scared to speak. Oh my god, good one. Daisy, maybe if you were not eating, those things people would like you. Or maybe you should just go kill your... Alice, don't you think you are going a little bit too far? Excuse me. That was basically your idea at first. Maybe, but we shouldn't be that mean to her. Haha, -ha, what the F.E. gig do you like her, or what? Daniel, what do you think? I think that you didn't answer to Olivia's question. F.F. -f. Anyways. No, you won't escape. Answer. No, obviously. I don't like her. Why would I? Look at her anyways. She is so useless. She is just a pathetic bye. My poor baby. We are sorry for upsetting you. Oh my god, why did I agree to be her boyfriend? It's okay, I guess. Anyways, Daisy, we are going to. Wait, where did she go? Great, because of y'all arguing we lost her. Come on, we are going to find her. Good idea. Okay, come. F, V, Key, I think I do love her. What am I going to do? Baby, you are coming? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay. Oh no, not again. Sup, loser? What do you want? When did I ask you to talk? Sorry, Alice. Better be El Mao. Anyways, kid, why are you eating salad now? Because I want you to stop bullying me. Ha 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 ha. Did I say something funny? Oh my dear, but you are always funny. Funny looking. Funny talking. But funny weird. Ha 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 ha. Where is Henry? Why do you care anyways? Even if you liked him, you don't have a small inch of chances. He doesn't date poor dummy. He dates girls like me, cute and smart woman. No, I would never steal him from you, Alice. Ha ha ha! She doesn't even have to worry. Yes, like I've said, don't think about it. You have no chances. I know, I know. It's just that he is the only one being nice with me. Oh, because you think that this is him being nice? El Mel. This is him having pity, poor girl. Oh, I see. You may be right after all. We are always right, baby. Yeah, haha. -ha. Lol. Later in class. All right, class. We are going to check your grades for the mathematic exam you did yesterday. Just say yes if you want me to say it. Out loud when I call your name. Olivia? Huh? First, put your phone away. This is your last warning. Second, I am not repeating. You just had to listen. So I'll just say it in front of everyone now. You had a D. Yeah, yeah. I don't care, miss. Excuse me? Ugh, I said I don't care about your stupid mathematics. All right, detention. Ah. Daniel's turn. Um, I don't know. You made progress. Well, okay, I guess. You had a B. Oh my god, cool. Good game, bro. Congrats. Thanks. Alice? Yes, 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 out loud. I want everybody to see I'm the bestest. Okay, okay, you had an A. Ha ha ha, probably the best grade, hee hee. Bravo. Are you not going to say anything, babe? Sorry, Alice. Yes, it's cool. Okay now, Daisy? No, please. All right. Ha ha ha, the girl probably had a zero lol. Not cool, Alice. El Mal. Stop it. Gets in a plus plus. Okay, and last one is Henry. You have no thank you. Here you go. Gets an F. Okay, bye class. Bye Henry, love you. Bye, love you too. Bye Daniel. Bye, Alice. Bye, bro. See you again. Bye, miss. Bye, Daisy. Wait, Daisy. Henry? Yeah. I have something important to tell you. Okay. Okay, come on. That's my chance. So I wanted to tell you that. Yes? I. I wanted to know if you could help me with math. Huh? I'm so confused. Yes. Sorry, I know how it looks. But anyways, I saw your result for the exam. And I wanted to know if you could help me. You can come to my house tonight? 
Um, yes, of course. Let me take your number, so I can text you if my parents disagree? Yes, yes, with pleasure. Gives number. Later at Henry's house. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Coming in. Before we do anything, is this some kind of trap? Don't forget you are my bully. No, no, Daisy, I promise. Let me tell you something. Okay. Okay, go. I need to tell you something as well, Henry. I'm listening. Well, I think I... Oh, sorry, one second. Yes, Mom? Honey, come back home right now. It's important. It's about Sizzle. Oh, my God, is she okay? I'll explain when you get home. Okay, I'm coming. Um, Henry, I really have to go. There is something with dog at home. See you again at school. But... The next morning in class. Oh, so you were actually with her, huh? It was to help me for school. Still, you were with her, and you didn't tell me. Do I have to remind you I'm your girlfriend? Oh, hi, Daisy. About that. Did you have some great time with my boyfriend last night? Henry! No, Daisy, I didn't say anything. It's not what you think. Well, it's not what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I mean it looks like. Wow cheated on Alice with Daisy. Not cool, mate. But I didn't. That's true, guys. We don't date. Okay. Then what's this? Show a video. Is this some kind of trap? Don't forget you are my bully. No, no, Daisy. I promise. Let me tell you something. Okay. Okay, go. Care to explain why you were with this? You know what? F -E -E all of you. F V K all of you for bullying the one I truly love. For being a Joles with everyone. For making me feel so bad for being a bully. So you know what? Alice, I break up with you. And Daisy, do you want to be my truly loved girlfriend? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, no. What, what an asshole. Assholes. Detention, the three of you. Hello. Oh my god, Harper, do you ever get tired of talking? It's every day. I'm sorry. I just wanted... I should tell you something. Me too. Oh, you go first then. In many ways, I hate you and I'm blocking you. Don't call this group chat anymore. Oh, and your avatar was never cute. I only lied to get your brother to think I'm nice. But it didn't work by Harper. Aurora's Lilies left the group chat. I just wanted to ask her if she wanted to be best friends forever. Damn it. That stupid dream again. Well, anyways, I wonder if that girl really meant what she said. Well, I hope karma hits how hard. I'll just join Dahood for now. Yes, I finally spawned by bank. Better go buy guns. Wait, is that Aurora? Hello, Aurora? Who are you? And how do you know my name? Oh, ugh. Oh. It's my friend's avatar. And it says Aurora in your display. My bad. Well, nice to meet you, I guess. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, wanna join my group chat? Sure, I guess. Damn, that was quick. Ugh, oh, Aurora, who is she? Just a friend I met. Anyways, what's your name? Ugh. Oh. It's Yum Olivia. Cool, you know me. The girl is Shim and that's Henry. Oh, okay. Olivia, you remind me of someone I met a while ago. Um, well, that, uh, couldn't have been me, huh? I like, uh, I gotta go. Bye. Hearts first left the call. Why is her name Hearts for S? If her name starts with a K? I don't know. It's weird. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I should have been more clear about my name. She JT. They're calling the group chat. Well, I can't be rude. Answers. Oh, hey, Olivia. Hi. 
Olivia, your avatar looks cool. Oh, thank you. Hey, Olivia, want to talk in private for a minute? Yeah, sure. Aurora's lilies and hearts for us went private chat. I bet you 100% it's going to end in a fight. I'm not doubting you. With Aurora and Olivia. So, Ugh, uh, why are we here again? Oh, because I want to tell you something. Continue, I guess. Stay away from Henry. He's mine. Don't even say anything, please. Or I will have to punish you. Nah, what kind of goofy ah she JT is this? Do you really expect me to take you? Seriously with your uglier ah pastel avatar? Like BJT teach what? You look like you saw the word fairy and took it. Well, I'll just say something. And they will believe it. Huh? Say what? Oh, sorry, we were trying to play a prank. On you about Santa lol. Aurora, every teenager knows Santa isn't real. I know, see Olivia should have stayed with my idea. Now it's ruined. Yeah. Sorry. Geez, Aurora, it was probably a good idea to her. Stop fighting. Wow, Shim. I can't believe you chose her over someone. You knew your whole life. Aurora's Lilies has left the call. Damn, maybe we went too far. No, Henry, if she's going to be rude to someone she invited. We're going to be rude back. I hate my friends. They're so shitty and rude to me. Ever since Olivia showed up, they seem to like her more than me. Wait, I'll just change my avatar. Start over and find her secrets, then expose them. Okay, I'll just dress up as a noob. Okay, now all I need is a voice changer. Okay, this is good for now. Now I need to wait. I found their group chat. Why did you say it like that? Help. Lol. Wait, who's that? Hi, sorry. I saw a link to your group chat. Sorry if I interrupted you. No, no, no. Don't apologize. You're good. Oh, okay. Wow, my name is Ms. Maddie. What's yours? I'm Olivia. That's Henry in white shirt. And Shim is the girl in the green shirt. Oh, well, nice to meet you all. Oh, hey, Olivia. I forgot to ask you this. But why does your user say hearts for S instead of K? Oh, ugh. I was matching with a friend. My friend Evelyn. I'm sorry I have to go by. Heart Force has left the call. I have to go to buy. Maddie's Loving Loves has left the call. Effie Cake. They're gonna find out that my name is Harper. I wish I was a softy again. I know. It's weird. Hold up. I just got sent a video from an unknown. Okay, I'm going to watch it. What the F yet? It's a video of Olivia bullying Maddie. Then it shows her saying her name is Harper. And she wants to be a softie again. Why would Olivia bully Maddie though? She said she has been bullied before? That's true, but even though someone's been bullied, doesn't mean they can't turn into one. I'll go ask her questions. Be right back. Shimmy Shax has left the call. Seriously? Wait, the bacon left the same time she did. Maybe the bacon was jealous and edited it? Wait, I got sent a video. It's the same thing. Wait, there are a piece of bacon hair in the video. And it looks edited. Olivia's voice sounds like a robot. I gotta tell Shim. Olivia? Please help. Someone trying to get in my account. I don't know what. No, 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 no. It's too late to be dealing with this. I have to log off for the night. In the morning. Has any of you guys seen Olivia? No, Olivia hasn't been on for the last 10 hours. Oh, Will, Maddie, why'd Olivia bully you? Egg, she was a jealous of me for joining, yeah. Hearts for S has joined the call. Oh my God, Olivia, we were so scared. You, Maddie, your avatar is so ugly. Why can't you just buy Robux and be like us? Shim, oh my God, look like you got. That outfit from a fake Roblox website. Who do you think you are? Wait, why do I hear typing on Maddie's account? You look like you got that outfit off from Shine BJTH. Maddie, why do I hear typing on your account, but not Olivia? Um, which ha ha, yeah. Now that I think of it ever, since you showed up Maddie, this group turned into chaos. Also, I know that's a voice changer. Everyone uses it. Fine, you caught me. Aurora, why? 
Because ever since showed up, you seem to care for her more than me. You would always play with her, and I would always be left out. You never say happy birthday to me, but you say it to her. I quit being with you toxic people. F-B-Q. Aurora's Lilies has left the call. Huh? What happened? My account glitched and now I'm here? It's best if you don't know. My name is Stacy and this was my story. I'm on a relationship with Henry now and still asking why my account froze and made Aurora disappear. All they told me was Aurora's a manipulator and I don't need to worry about her anymore. The end.